Hi, this is Jordan Santos with Women's Soccer and you're watching Titan Sports Recap. Tonight on Titan Sports Recap, Titan Softball celebrates the 25th anniversary of their first national championship. Titan Baseball looks to snap their four game skid against the Washington Huskies. And will football ever return to Cal State Fullerton? All this and more next on Titan Sports Recap. Any final thoughts? Um, go Titans. <laughs> Everybody and welcome to episode four of Titan Sports Recap, bringing you the best video coverage of Cal State Fullerton Athletics. Trevor Raybone here and we're glad to have you back. The 13th ranked Titan baseball team is coming off a rough weekend in the Bayou. After they were swept by then 16th ranked LSU in Baton Rouge, they dropped a single game at Texas A&M 2 to nothing. The Titans returned home to the friendly confines of Goodwin Field for a weekend series against the Washington Huskies, who the Titans swept in Seattle last year. After winning the, se the series opener, the Titans played the final two games Saturday as the originally scheduled Sunday game was moved up to avoid the rain. Tyler Pill was on the hill for Fullerton and Will Soisman is at Goodwin Field with the story. Will. Thanks Trevor. The Titan baseball team got back on track in their first game against the University of Washington. They look to keep their streak going in the second game. Titan baseball was underway Saturday afternoon as they played host to the Washington Huskies in the second game of a three-game series. Tyler Pill took the mound against Aaron West of the Huskies and looked to continue his early season dominance. The Huskies wasted no time getting on the board as Troy Scott hit a single in the first inning to bring in Caleb Brown and start the scoring for the game. Men on first and second with one out. Tyler Pill gets Brian Wolf to ground into the 3-6-1 double play to end the inning and any more potential runs for the Huskies. Bottom of the third inning and the Titans threatening with the bases loaded and slugger Nick Ramirez up with two outs. However, Ramirez didn't need to do anything as West throws a wild pitch which allows Ivory Thomas to score and even the game at 1-1. One one. Top of the fourth inning and Tyler Pill begins to heat up as he strikes out the first batter picks off a runner on second and ends the inning with a second strikeout. Pill finished with six strikeouts and went seven and a third giving up one run. Ivory Thomas up in the fourth inning as Michael Lorenzen steals third base which proves crucial with one out as Thomas then hits a deep fly ball to help score Lorenzen as the Titans take the lead two to one off the sacrifice fly. Titans still up two to one when in the sixth inning Nick Ramirez says thank you Mrs. Robinson and hits a home run to right center field for his first home run of the year and extends the lead for the Titans 3-1 as the Titan faithful get loud and celebrate. Still in the sixth inning and the bases are loaded once again for the Titans and with only one out. Pinch hitter Anthony Hudding hits a fly ball to left which scores Tyler Pill and provides insurance as the lead is improved to 4-1. To with the score 6-1 in favor of the Titans, Jake Flowley comes in to help close the game out in the ninth, getting a nice double play and a final ground out to Nick Ramirez to clinch the 6-1 win for the Titans. With the win, the Titans improved to 10-7, while the Huskies fell to 3-12 on the season. An outstanding pitching performance from Tyler Pill led the Titans to a victory over the Washington Huskies 6-1. From Goodwin Field, Will Soisman, Titan Sports Recap. Thank you, Will. Nick Ramirez's home run was only the second Titan home run of the season. Michael Lorenzen had the other Titan blast earlier this season against LSU. Now back out to Goodwin Field we go, where Alex Stathis has the recap of Game 2 of the doubleheader. Alex. Thanks, Trevor. The Titan baseball squad just earned two victories against the University of Washington Huskies. Now they look to get a blowout as they take the Huskies on for the third and last game of their series. Let's take a look at the highlights. Dylan Floro steps up on the mound as starting pitcher to start the game out for the Titans as they take on the Huskies, a team coming off of a loss. 
Game is tied at one in the second inning. Richie Pedroza hit a ball to allow Ivory Thomas to run in for the score, and the Titans are up by one. Titans move up bases after a balk call in the fourth inning when Washington head coach Lindsey Meggs argues the call, leading to him getting ejected by first base umpire Billy Von Rockhorst. We pick up in the sixth inning with Titans up one. Michael Lorenzen gets a hit to lead the Titans in for two runs, and the Titans are up three. Titans up four when the Huskies catcher missed the pitch thrown to Ivory Thomas, allowing Greg Velasquez to score a run to cement the final score in the eighth inning, and the Titans are up five. And the Titans win this game 9-4 for their 11th win of the season. Dylan, how do you feel about your performance today? Uh, it was all right. I went in there, pitched what I could. Stuff was, I didn't have the best stuff, but I gave, pretty much tried to give my team the best opportunity to win, so I didn't. Feel all right about it, but not the best. Today we just came out good as a team and uh, just capitalized on mistakes that they made as a team and uh, put pressure on and scored more runs. Yeah, I mean, you guys sweeped them the whole series, and do you guys feel... The Titans dominated the Huskies the entire game, winning the game 9-4. to From Goodman Field, Alex Stathis, Titan Sports Recap. Thanks, Alex. Earlier this week, baseball head coach Dave Serrano announced that eight players will be suspended during their, their four-game trip to Hawaii. Several sources told the Titan Sports Recap that sophomore Richie Pedroza, designated hitter Carlos Lopez, and the six other players violated a curfew rule during their road trip to Texas A&M last week. Coach Serrano and the rest of the baseball program would not confirm the violation and declined to comment. The list of suspended players include half of the Titans infield and two of their best hitters in Pedroza and Joe Terry. Starting pitcher Colin O'Connell and catcher Zach Tanita were also suspended. After the Washington series, Pedroza leads the team in both batting average and runs scored with 392 batting average and 17 runs. Now on to Titans softball where the Titans host their second tournament of the year. The Judy Garman Classic is named after legendary Titans softball coach Judy Garman and Derek Opina has the results of the marquee matchup between the Titans and the Texas Longhorns. Derek, take it away. Trevor, thank you. The matchup between the Cal State Fullerton Titans and the Texas Longhorns is widely regarded as the marquee matchup of the Judy Garman Classic Tournament. That's because the game reunites Texas softball head coach Connie Clark with Titans head coach Michelle Gramacki. The two of them won a national championship together in 1986 for Cal State Fullerton. But for the 2011 Judy Garman Classic Tournament, it marks the 25th anniversary of that national championship. So today, it's not just Clark and Gramacki that are reunited, but most of the 1986 national championship team is here as well. The only way that the Titans could cap off this tearful reunion is to beat and upset Texas. Let's get to the highlights. The 2011 Judy Garman Classic Tournament marks the 25th anniversary of Cal State Fullerton's one and only national championship. Most of the squad from that 1986 championship team returned to celebrate and watch their former teammates Connie Clark and Michelle Gramacki go head to head in day four of the Judy Garman Classic. The Titans are looking to make it three in a row against the Texas Longhorns. Texas up one in the top of the third when Tori Schmidt bloops one into shallow right field bringing in a runner and the Longhorns lead by two. Now the top of the fourth with the Longhorns still up two when Taylor Thom the shot over the left field wall for two more on the board and the Longhorns go up by four. Titans trying to rally in the bottom of the sixth but Ashley Carter strikes out. Blair Luna shutting down the Titan bats on this day with 10 strikeouts and the Titans lose to Texas 5-0. So with this loss, the Titans drop to 1-3 in the tournament and they'll finish up the final day of the tournament versus Boise State. From Anderson Family Field, Derek Opina, Titans Sports Recap. Thanks, Derek. The Titans' final game of the tournament against Boise State was canceled due to rain. Titan football is undefeated since 1992, but that's because the program was cut in order to comply with Title IX. Since then, fans and students have made multiple attempts to bring football back to Cal State Fullerton. I recently had the chance to go more in-depth on the group that's spearheading the movement to return football to Cal State Fullerton. A football team hasn't graced the field of Titan Stadium since 1992, but a group of ex-players and students are working to bring back Titan football. 
Former Titan football players brought their memorabilia to put on display as signatures were being gathered to put football to a vote in the 2012 ASI elections. Joel Thayer is one of the student leaders and spoke about the movement. Well, essentially we want to get a football team back on Cal State Fullerton's campus. We believe with a football team we can get more school spirit and sort of change the overall mindset of you know this commuter campus. We want to bring more unity and we feel a football team will make us more able to do that. There's a clear correlation between your athletics program and your degree. We look at schools such as USC, Alabama, uh, even Georgia, and you kind of see that the better your, your athletics program is, the more awareness uh, the nation has to your campus. Another thing we want to bring students back, and we want to bring alumni back. We, we want to be able to have more alumni interaction so that way we can have more opportunities for them to come back and really give back to the campus as a whole. We're just trying to get it on the ballot and get ASI to recognize that this is what the students want and we're not alone in this and that there's plenty of plenty of you know plenty to talk about it and we definitely want people to sign it so that we can really have a real discussion about bringing football back. From Titan Walk, Trevor Raybone, Titan Sports Recap. Here's your Titan timeline highlighting the big matchups in the next two weeks. Titan Baseball travels to the Big Island for a four game series with Hawaii starting on the 25th. Titan Softball starts a four game homestand at Anderson Family Field starting the weekend of the 26th. Then Titan Baseball returns home looking for revenge from last year's Super Regional in a Tuesday night matchup with the UCLA Bruins on March 29th. We remind you that you can watch any of these highlights and much, much more online at our YouTube channel. Go to youtube.com slash Titan Sports Recap. You can follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash CSUF Sports Recap. And be sure to find us on Facebook by searching Titan Sports Recap in your search bar. That's it for us here at Titan Sports Recap. Derek Opina is back in the seat next time. So on behalf of the entire staff, Trevor Raybone here, and we'll see you next time.